It was it was amazing to get here, get out here and be here day one with my team, and you know it, I'm just very glad that we got this done as quick as possible, and to you know be here. It's been a while, and I'm just happy. You you know I was just putting it all on my agent and letting that's what I hired him for to trust him and get it done as quick as possible. He knew that I wanted to be be out here as fast as possible. He wanted me. He knows me. He knows I'm a team guy. He want, know I wanted to be there with my team and practicing and getting better. And I was happy I could be out here day one with all of them. So it was it was anxious, but it was great. It, it particularly important to be here right away since you missed the spring too. Mm -hmm. So that you, do you feel like you have to catch up to players? You know I did miss OTAs because of my quarter system school and all that, but I feel like uh, I've been I was, all my training, I've been doing great in uh, just putting extra work in on my own and during that time I didn't take any time off. I was training, getting ready, had the iPad watching film, so I feel like I'm right there with everyone and just ready to get out there and uh, get on the field tomorrow. Being a local guy, just, you're no stranger to this mm -hmm. team and what, what the objective is this year. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts about where you guys are starting from mm -hmm. and potentially being a part of something? You know, one thing that I can tell about the team is that everyone's hungry. Everyone's just starting from scratch. Um, everyone just wants to get out there and, and rebuild this team and, and reestablish this team. And um, it's just great. The energy is great. And just being out there today on the first day, I could just tell there's a whole new energy to everyone. And I'm just trying to learn from everyone, get out there, compete, and just, just add on to what I can. Where did you, where did you spend yesterday? Yesterday, I, I was just um, – oh, I, I went to Stanford. So I was just down there at the road just waiting – just letting my agent handle everything, and um, I was just working out, just just trying to let time pass by. So, I mean, no secret, last year, both mm -hmm. the third pick, mm -hmm. same representation. Were you concerned that this would last a month or more? Mm -hmm. No, I was not concerned at all. My agent knew. I trusted my agent. I, I hired him for that reason. He knew how fast I wanted to get out there, and he knew that I wanted um, to be out there with the team, and he knows that I didn't want to be – by myself for another month, so I, I was just going to let him take care of everything, and uh, both parties worked extremely hard on it, and they got it done as quick as possible. I couldn't be happier that I'm here right now. Did you stay really in tune with you know, mm -hmm. negotiations, what the sticking points were, mm -hmm. such deals, things like that? Mm -hmm. No, not, no, not really. I just let them take care of it. I let my agent take care of it. I let the team take care of it, and they just they both did an amazing job of getting it done as quick as possible. What was the genesis of you working out with DeMarcus Ware? Mm -hmm. So um, I was at the Game Changers with uh, DeMarcus Ware, and so I, I stayed in contact with him. He's from Dallas. He lives in South Lake. I live in Coppell, about 15 minutes away. I just went down there to work out with him a couple of times. But I saw him at the Von Miller uh, Pastures Camp at Stanford, which I was able to go to. And then the Game Changers as well, Coach Mariucci um, uh, with Warren Sapp. He, Warren Sapp has worked it before, so he got us in contact. And Warren was out here in the area and just sent him a text. And we got, it to, we got some working together. And it was just great to learn from all those guys. It was they know they have so much knowledge and just trying to take it all in and add it to my game and make myself become a better player. <laughs> Pretty quick, you know, I just ran down to the locker room and and just threw my jersey on real quick, uh, laced up some new cleats and just got out there. Did you already do the conditioning test or did you do that today? No, I did that with Ray today on the field uh, as the practice was going on. Then I went over and watched team and went over did some drills with uh, Coach Ray as well. Mm -hmm. and, and were you asking questions uh -huh. a lot? Uh -huh. So, yeah, I could, I could, I had, there's like a certain time period where I can call him. I couldn't have like face to face contact with him or, at all. It was against the rules, but um, we just followed the rules right. And I just called him when I could. And then um, I was, the, I had the whole playbook, all the updates, all the film that I could watch whenever I want. It was uploaded like everyone else's. So I was able to watch every practice and go through all the installs by myself. So when I came back, you know, even though I only could come back for one day of mini camp, that was still if I, if I could have gone, I was ready to go. You guys have a few bets on, on the line, but obviously this mm -hmm. this team is usually top pick the last two drafts on the mm -hmm. line. Have you, Eric, and, and DeForest ever talked about how you guys have to really come through for this team? Uh -huh. No, we have. We never actually sat down and just talked about. You know, we're three first round picks. You know, it's on us. We've we've really talked about just how everyone on this D line is really special. You know, um, we have an amazing defensive line right now, from Elvis Zimmerville to Ahmad Brooks to Chris Jones. You know, we, we can learn from all those guys. They're all veterans. You know, Elvis has 99 sacks. That's that's unheard of. And so I can't wait to learn from him. Ahmad's going in his 12th year. I'm I'm excited to learn from these guys and um, you know DeForest. You know, all those guys. I mean, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be it's gonna be a pretty Pretty dangerous D line, so I'm excited to be a part of it. Do you expect to on, on, on passing down sliding 
You know, um, right now they have me as a big end, and, you know, I feel like uh, in nickel downs, I feel like they want me to rush as a, as a three technique. But, you know, it's still, we're just, it's day one a day, and so we're still getting into everything, trying to feel how things fit, put everyone in the right position. So I feel like, you know, that's that's what we talked about at rookie mini camp, but, you know, things could change. So I'm just going to listen to coach and be the best player I can be at wherever he wants me. How, how do you strike a balance between, you know, being fleet enough to rush from the edge uh, mm -hmm. as, as big end? Stout enough to run mm -hmm. from the, the center. I mean, do you uh -huh. have a target uh, weight? Um, you know, I, I played uh, at 275, and I feel comfortable with that. 276 right now, and just um, I'm ready to go. I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life coming out from a long time training from right after the Sun Bowl to now. So all I've been doing is training, and I, I'm ready to go. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're both passionate. We're both energetic guys that love football. Um, we're just guys who love to come up every day, smile and train. You know, guys, people ask why you're always smiling and stuff like that. And we just have that fire inside of us, and we share that. And when you have someone you share that with, it's special. So, and I'm excited to bond with them over that and excited to play with them on the field. That's good. All right. All right. Thank you.